Good day, Grade Tens. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about metals, non-metals, and metalloids. So the elements are classified according to their chemical structures and, sorry, the chemical properties and their structures. And they can be grouped into either metals, non-metals or metalloids which are also called semi-metals. They are arranged in the periodic table according to their structures. So now if we look at this and we're going to look at it in more detail, we can see that the metals are basically found on the left hand side of the periodic table. So if you look you can see that basically the end of the orange bit, everything to the left of these steps are metals and there are approximately 80 metals. So we can see that the majority of the periodic table is actually made up of metallic elements. Let's look at the properties of metals. They are hard, we know that. They are shiny, they are good conductors of heat and good conductors of electricity and here are just some basic examples of different types of metals we find. Now we look at the non-metals. Now the interesting thing about the non-metals is they are found on the right hand side of the periodic table and what I want you to realize is that they're actually just those elements over there on the right hand side of the green steps. Those there are the non-metals and there are only about 20 of them on the whole periodic table. Properties of non-metals, they are soft, okay, much softer than your, me your metals. They are dull, they're not shiny at all. They are bad conductors of heat and bad conductors of electricity. Non-metal that conducts electricity is carbon and carbon is actually a very good conductor of electricity. Now you've got your metalloids or your semi-metals and these are the green bits in the middle. Okay, they are found in a diagonal across the periodic table and these can basically act as both metals and non-metals depending on different things and there are only about seven of them as we can see. So now the properties of the metalloids or semi-metals is that they have both properties of metals and non-metals and they can conduct electricity under certain conditions and are called semiconductors. So if you look here, I've given a picture of example of what we use silicon for. Silicon can be used both as a metal in our um, computer chips and they're very good conductor of electricity in this condition and yeah silicon is actually used as artificial skin so if someone's been burnt or has been very bad their skin's been very badly damaged they can actually use silicon and use it as an artificial skin and replace the person's skin so that they can get healthy again right thank you grade 10s i hope that has been useful